So the first thing I do every day is look at app usage metrics. Claude code can run terminal commands, so it runs the script for me to generate the charts. And then here I have Claude look at some existing code in plan mode to come up with a plan for building out some more connections for the auto habit tracker that I'm gonna build today. What is up guys? Welcome back to another productive day in the life of a software engineer. And in this one, I actually partnered with Claude Code. If you don't know, I am an ex-Fang software engineer and I'm making an AI Pomodoro timer. So the Pomodoro timer also has a habit tracker and a goal tracker, as well as an AI agent who has context of all of those. And what I'm gonna try to get done today is make it so the habit tracker automatically checks off whether or not you did the habit. And so the first two habits that I'm going to implement that for is two that are near and dear to me. One is getting eight hours of sleep. And then the other one is whether or not I posted a video on YouTube. So I already have my app so that you can connect your YouTube. But for tracking sleep, I'm going to use my fitness tracker ring, the aura ring. And so I made a plan using plan mode with Claude code and then implemented the connection in the code and so now i'm going to finish setting that up and then make it so if i do get eight hours of sleep then it checks off the habit so let's get it so claude code is seriously a beast it uses opus 4.5 which is the best model for coding and it does extended thinking and advanced reasoning with context of your whole code base so right here for example it's building out a full OAuth flow and authentication flow for two different third-party APIs, which if you don't know what that is, that's like when an app asks you if you want to connect some account and it takes you to their website and you click accept. That's what it's building out here and two of them at, at once. It's actually pretty complicated because of callbacks that are going on and stuff like that. So it's a full stack change. This would take me like two days probably without Claude. So I got the automatic habit tracking pretty much done, but there's still some stuff I need to fix up. So this is the habit tracker page. And this is where it's, this is the sleep eight hours habit. And that's pulling in the aura ring data. And this is my post YouTube video habit. Let's look at the 30 days. And you can see it fetches the data uh, from both of the APIs and checks off the habit if I did it or not. I think I might lower this to seven and a half hours. <laughs> just because, I don't know, I guess I don't sleep eight hours every night. I think it's more like seven and a half. Next thing I wanna do is clean up some of the stuff uh, when you create a habit, because it's a little bit too big. I want it to be more like a drop down that you can pick from. By the way, just in case you're wondering, this is the connections down here. So you can see you select one of these from the menu, YouTube or Aura Ring or Withings. And then there's a connect button. I've already connected mine, but that's how you connect the different data sources. And here's the aura ring connection. So next thing I'm gonna do is just clean up the create a new habit a form. So it's a little bit it's more compact. 
So right here, I was fixing a bug. It was pulling in some YouTube shorts instead of just full videos. So I had to increase the threshold for what was considered a short. And as you can see, I'm using Claude code within cursor here, but it also works as an extension in VS code, of course, as well as JetBrains. And it actually works on the web and iOS apparently, which I'd be excited to try. Vibe coding on my phone, that'd be pretty sweet. And then right here, you can see the final version of what I got done today. So definitely click the link in the description to get Claude code on the max plan and subscribe for more videos.